good introduction. Iris versus Cade? Yeah, Iris versus Cade. Both of these two players will be fighting on the sea. Uh, into round two, actually against MVD. So one of these guys will have to face off MVD, and the other one will lead on to the loser side. So we got Palutena versus Roy. So Roy is definitely a character that has been showing a lot of performance and able to rush down people with that sword. But Palutena, once again, is able to control the air with her aerials, as people have been calling about. Yeah, that's one of the things that she has. is the, She kind of has over Roy in the air-to-air -air combat. She's a little bit more superior. Even though Roy does have disjoints in a small way, it's the fact that how much she can able to do with her aerials over to Roy. But the thing that Roya does have over Palutena is that kill power he has with the potential sweet spot. And Palutena is quite light, but it sure doesn't matter when Palutena is able to get you off stage. It has kill confirms of her own with the down throw back air. Yeah, good call out there on the platform. Definitely Kate trying to stay a little bit safe on the platform. Did not let go shoot. I like the fact that he kind of hold firm. A little careful there. He lands on the platform, takes his way back to center stage. Good grab here, followed by an up air. Yeah, no sweet spot just yet. This is Roy after all. He's looking for a jab into an aerial confirm, but does get the back air, forcing Iris off stage with a quick teleport to get yeah. back on. I feel like Iris has a little bit of uh, understanding, like, okay, he wants jab. This is what he's looking for. I'm going to go ahead and come in with this aerial again. Roy off stage, good Ooh. counter. That'll be the curtain for the first stock there. Yeah, just like that, Iris capitalizing on the fact that Cage recovery is easily exploitable, especially if you have a counter just like that. But speaking of it, he needs to get out of this corner, and he knows that Cage's oh. fishing for that jab. But go for it way too many times, you're going to eat four aerials right to the face at 43%. Yeah, and not only is that four aerials, that's a corner carry all the way to the other side across the stage. That's a lot of damage and a lot of control lost there against Cage. All right, he's looking for an opportunity. I, one thing I do want to see him, though, is uh, try to go for a whiff punish. Every now and then, Iris seems to be making some pseudo movement around Cade's uh, zone. For him, he needs to be looking for a little bit of a whiff punish. He had the opportunity to jab, raw back air, and gets used to control the stage here at the corner. Yeah, you can't you can't auto cancel Palutena's Nair. It's something that you need to exploit. And also, we're seeing that Cade's whiffing way too many jabs, and that yeah. could have been an opportunity for a kill. But unfortunately, unable to find. He's going for these down to try to go oh. for a two frame, but finally he's able to catch out with the attack. But what 15%? He's got a hill to climb if he wants to win this against Iris. Good opportunity for him to go for spot dodge, knowing that most Palutena's always go for an aerial from the ledge. Usually tends to be Nair, Fair, one of those options for him to call out and understand. Like, all right, here this is my big opening. Not gonna miss it. Here's the grab. Can he follow up with an aerial? But unfortunately, he's not going to be the DI in anywhere in that area. Yeah, no attack to be found, but the back air will surely find its Marcade in a really bad position, oh. and he's able to exploit the fact that Roy's recovery oh, no. is able to be exploited just like that, because it just peeks over the edge, and usually it's a great way to get your opponent off the corner, but in this case, Iris is able to capitalize it and use the counter. Woo! Oh. Tough spot to actually pick there. I, okay, I respect it. Like, you are going for the teleport. You are going to go ahead and come back on the stage, but the problem was, like, you do still have that startup before you actually disappear. Back throw, stage control here. I like the down to attempt, but unfortunately, you're sticking out your hurt box at the same time. And remember, Cade can get very good string as he's able to land attack, but yeah. Iris is doing such a good job denying everything. But the up air lands no string available. This is looking really desperate for Cade as he just keeps getting all of his options shut down. Oh. He wanted to go for a down throw, Arbear, and then this option is close to flame, forces him on the ledge. Good read on the roll there. As you can tell right now, Cade wants to come back on the stage and yep. the raw back air. You don't DI off of that down throw. That's exactly what he did. Eats the back air to the face. Iris with the great job. Cade was able to bring back just a little bit, yeah. but Iris was the one in full control of that match. It definitely. That's kind of one of those things. That's why people like to call Palatine a bit of a wall. She, uh, it definitely feels like you're fighting a wall with how much control she's able to have over a lot of characters. Her back air, her forward air, her air, air her counter itself yeah. is basically a wall. And it's, it's her dash attack, up smash. Her, her whole toolkit is centered about a, about a wall. And then you style. have explosive flame to deal with, which yeah. is a lingering projectile. So Kate switching off to the wolf, hopefully to bear some fruit. The one thing you do get is a bit of a projectile to kind of condition your opponent to start respecting one of those projectiles. Not only that, you do get a little bit more kill power, but the one thing you do struggle that you still have with Roy there is the recovery. Yeah, recovery is definitely going to be an issue. It's going to be uh, a little less exploitable yeah. because Wolf did receive a nerf to his up special where it, it doesn't reach over a little bit, so it prevents some counters from happening. But it doesn't matter, Cade, you've got to stop DIing in. Yeah. And for sometimes some players, they DI in out of that panic, like, yo, I don't want to DI away, so then it's going to lead me further towards the stage. I want to DI in because I want to make sure I can come back, but that's the problem. That's how you fall into a lot of combos. Down smash attempt, not going to be the one to do it here. Forward throw, control here in Cade's hands. Another down smash, but unfortunately, I would have loved to have seen him hold it and understand, like, there's uh -oh. invincibility from the ledge, though. Yeah, unable to find anything off it, as able to recover successfully, knowing that I was just going to go for a counter, forcing her off to the corner, but... No edge guard. He's going to go for a ledge trap setup, but unable oh. to find anything. Oh, that God air. reversal. 
That's nice. just like a feels bad moment that you like <laughs> snuck her into the corner and then you get dragged by all these aerials, 29% only, and he's going for a dash attack. Kate's got to be careful not to pull off any unsafe things, but great ledge edge cancel off of that teleport. So Iris is just looking for some nair trades and here comes the grab, oh. but no damage follow up, but he baits it out knowing exactly what Kate was going to do. That was a really good bait because at this point, at game one, how it went down, right? Like Kate had already seen the down throw of our bear. That's usually an option a lot of players are usually ready for. So for him, to go ahead and go give it a mix up like that, and it's definitely lets Kate know, like, okay, I have way more tricks up the sleeve. Yeah, he's doing such a good job up as there. well. Yep, he's got to catch him out. Kate's got to be careful, but he lands him with that falling <laughs> up air. Was that was it on purpose or was that lucky? I want to say a little bit on a little bit of both <laughs> right there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, know, he was pressing something, but yeah, you're looking for something. Hopefully, he's got something to get back from because Iris is happily just spacing him out with all of these arrows explosively, barely misses him out. Oh. oh, he tried to go for it, but here comes the up tilt, and here comes the, si the side tilt as well. Hopefully, he's able to get something down, but Iris knows exactly what Cade wants. Nice, good Nair, even drags it back, understanding where Cade was going to be there. 35% only to Iris. At this point for Cade, staying a little bit calm is definitely going to want to be the points of the game here. Have, using that projectile to condition Palatine to respect the ground zone, that's something he wants to be looking for. And you also you can't get shook after getting nared over yeah. and over again. It's going to happen. You just can't escape it. You need to get away from that pressure. And what Palutena's love to do, after the nair train you, they condition you to shield, but you're going to get nothing when the down smash find its mark. It's really tough because it seems from that situation, Cade was falling into literally everything Iris was throwing out. Mm -hmm. Like the explosive flame, the auto reticle, then the down smash. He literally got the three-piece combo for free. And then anything after that, it, he was forced to be conditioned into a shield, and after that, Iris would just simply grab and force him yeah. off stage or get a down throw, down throw backer confirmed, and we've seen it over and over again. He keeps